Don't lie to me. This has happened to you. Every player has had to have this happen to them at least once in their career, and to this day, I would understand why players are baffled to see this happen to them. Many would cry, some would call hacks, but the brave would figure out why this would be the case. That's probably why you clicked on this video, so your homie Quatch Daddy's got you covered. In this video, I'll be quickly showing you exactly how the perspective system works in Valorant and in other shooters in general, why you die in these situations, and things you can do in order to abuse unsuspecting players that won't be enlightened by the knowledge you'll be receiving today. Alright gamers, so let me show you why the perspective system in Valorant and in a lot of the shooters you might have played in the past actually have this deceptive way of looking at things, and part of it has to do with the design of the game. But another part of it is actually kind of how physics works a little bit. Now before this turns into some Khan Academy tutorial, let me assure you that when you see this sort of thing in action, it'll make so much more sense to you. Similar to CSGO, your camera view in Valorant will be based on the view from your eyes, which makes sense because that's what it is in real life as well. In addition to this, as long as you are able to see an enemy, your gun will basically be able to shoot them. Because however this isn't quite how it works in real life, a lot of FPS games tend to try and simplify the process and the coding of the game overall, and therefore also makes your bullets essentially shoot from your eye area in order to provide more visual clarity in the game. It may appear as though it comes from a body, but the actual hitbox is through what you see on your camera. Keeping that in mind, it actually makes sense that there are certain angles of attack in the game that allow you to get shot and die without actually being able to see your opponent, especially when a similar concept can actually apply in real life. If you want a hands-on example, literally go put your head against the wall with your body around the corner. If you probably noticed, you are not able to see anything past the corner properly, but you also notice that your shoulder is peeking around the wall. This is because the positioning of your head just simply does not allow you to see around that corner, but doing so also exposes your body to the potential dangers around you. The exact same concept will apply in Valorant, and this weakness can be amplified depending on the way you understand and play around this concept. The most major way that you will be impacted in your games on a round by round basis for this would be when you peek around corners and whatnot in game. Peaking corners and clearing angles are a major part of the gameplay in this game, and the idea of perspective in these angles will be very important in knowing whether or not you will be able to get an advantageous trade. You can, of course, try to take a trade on equal footing, but with the amount of strategic factors you can implement in order to swing that impact in your favor, there's really not much reason to not be going for a trade in which you have an advantage. Applying the idea that I just showed you in regards to your body positioning around the corner, you should be approaching corners differently based on how far away you can stand from an angle. If you are peeking around the corner, the farther you are away from that corner, the later it actually takes for your opponent to see you, assuming that they are actually watching you from the other side of the corner. I'm not 100% sure on the physics behind this, but it does make sense, as the further away you are from the corner with the wall, the less relevant the distance of your shoulders peeking out before your eyes becomes, just due to the further distance overall. In addition, the farther away you are, the less obstructive the corner itself becomes for blocking your vision. A general rule of thumb then is that you should actually only slow peek around a corner if you know for sure that you are farther away from the angle than your opponent, because if you do, it guarantees a window in which you will see your opponent's body before they see you, which is the golden ticket to getting free kills in these scenarios. If we inverse this scenario, if you know that you won't have this advantage, it's actually better for you to peek wide or fast out of the corner in order to try and surprise opponents. This can also be a case where you can justify the use of utility in order to clear out that angle, as the angle may be hard to clear otherwise. When you peek around the corner, if you're confused as to whether you think you will be further away from your opponent, always try to back away from the corner itself first to ensure that you are creating as much of a potential advantage for yourself as possible. A general guideline to see which player would be favored in an angle comparison would be to see the limit of how far back they can go. This can generally be determined by looking at the minimap and seeing the distance of the walls behind the corner. Generally speaking, whoever has more space behind them, beginning from the corner, will be the one that is favored to have that angle. You should also make sure to keep your crosshair placement on point when trying to peek out corners like this, as incorrect placement might actually put you in situations where your gun barrel will stick out before your body does, giving away your position and defeating the entire purpose of trying to outplay your enemy in this peek. Always keep your crosshair to where the enemy may be and peek straight at that angle before peeking. Players get caught out especially with longer guns like the Operator, so always try to be conscious of this fact. So that's the gist of it. 
perspective is actually a relatively simple concept once explained and really helps clear the water as to why you might be get getting shot from these seemingly random angles. Although they appear to be whack at first, once you get a better look, you can realize that it actually makes sense. And you can use this subtle power system that the game presents in order to make your enemies rage at this fact themselves. That's all from me. Stay fresh, brothers.